Holy goodness gracious, what's up peeps? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back for a very important video on a topic that was covered months ago now, some of the biggest RuneScape drama, and trust me, you wanna hear more about this one involving a streamer known as Odablock and another streamer known as Stella. As the two went back and forth and were clear rivals in the game, but it led to some of the biggest RuneScape drama that we have ever seen, also inclu including a former mod, a former RuneScape mod known as Mod Trident. This was actually months ago where Odablock had both of his main accounts permanently banned for paid account sharing, and this just started a monstrosity of information coming out from both sides. As Odablock being a fairly large creator on YouTube for RuneScape, as well as a streamer for the game, and all of a sudden having his main accounts both permanently banned for paid account sharing, he alleged that this was actually done by a mod known as Mod Trident, and it was done on behalf of Mod Trident's girlfriend, a streamer and creator known as Stella. Now, he also admits to doing one of these accounts, you know, having paid account sharing on one of them, but never on the other. But he claims that this streamer known as Stella actually used her relationship with Mod Trident, the RuneScape mod, to get Oda banned because he created a rival DMing clan in the game. If you guys don't know these DMing clans, these deathmatching clans, it's pretty much a way for these creators, if they make a successful DMing clan, to bring in loads and loads of gold or known as GP in the game. So uh, Oda alleged that Stella, because Oda was making a rival DMing clan and taking business away from her, used her relationship with the mod to try and get him permanently banned and successfully did it, at least for a little while. This next clip is a response by Stella that's replying to a viewer that said Oda Block CC is immune to bans. But they're not immune. What's gonna happen is Jagex is gonna go through the list, start banning everybody. And then people are going to start realizing, like, holy shit, rule breakers cannot actually run a CC. Do you think those people that are ranked right now in their CC not rule breaking? Do you think they're not RWTing? They haven't just been brought to attention. So if they start DCing, do you think they're going to still want to, like, run the CC? No. No one's going to want to be affiliated with it. She tells everyone exactly what's literally going to happen the next day. Jagex is going to go through the list, start banning everybody. And that rule breakers, referring to me, can't run a clan chat. And then people are going to start realizing, like, holy shit, rule breakers cannot actually run a CC. How the hell can you have this information a day before my ban? But then Jagex comes and tells me they can't give information about an ongoing investigation. So unless another Jagex mod is telling Stella inside information, it must be tried it. Now, is there another member of the anti-cheat team giving Stella this information? I think it's much more likely that the person she has a romantic relationship with is giving her that information. And Stella was also the one who publicly announced her relationship with the mod. And I mean, even there at the very base of when this whole thing started, that was interesting. If you have a streamer for a game and they are announcing a public relationship with one of the mods for the game who does have a fair amount of power, there's already gonna be you know, whispers of a potential conflict of interest, especially when something like this happens where there was plenty of evidence to support the claims made by Oda. He did allege a lot of things, but also throughout this, other creators started speaking up and sending in screenshots and evidence of Stella actually doing real world trading, scamming, being in large amounts of debts to several players out there, and much more. So in getting Oda Block permanently banned, she then outed herself to the community to go and find stuff, and they, they found a lot of stuff. The other irony in this is that she states that people are soon gonna realize that rule breakers are gonna be dealt with and that you can't RWT. But Stella, you are an RWT -er. that's what you do. That's the only reason you play this game. You sell all the gold that you get. Nobody has ever been paid back any debt. And on the screen right now, I have a proof that you've RWT and received money for gold that you sold. Now, lucky for you, I blocked out your number because I'm not here to share out your real information or give out your real name, which isn't even Stella, by the way, but I'm not going to get into that because I'm only here to expose the scamming that you do. So some of you guys may be saying, oh, but this transaction is from four months ago, so how do we know that she still RWTs now? Well, on the screen right now, you guys can see someone who sent her $1,435 to our Coinbase account. Now, he kindly included the address that he's used to send the money to. So all we had to do was just go ahead and look up that address. When we looked up that address, we see who it went to. So what comes up when you look up the address that it went to? Now on the screen right now, we're looking at Stella's crypto address, which sends and receives money almost every single day. In fact, there was a transaction yesterday on April 16, 2023 for $299. Now, oddly enough, that's the equivalent of one bill today on RuneScape. 
there's transactions here almost every single day like i said and where it all ended previously was oda blocks permanent bans were both turned to temporary and then runescape or jagex launched an internal investigation on their mod and to further clarify the stella situation and that's why i'm here today guys because we have an update or at least part of one and it's freaking crazy we actually have the reversal of oda blocks permanent bans and a complete 180 from jagex as they have now have apparently According to Stella, they have fired Mod Trident and then banned her instead. And she took to an hour long stream. The VOD has been taken down. Otherwise, I would give you guys what was actually said on stream. I've heard not really much. I only captured like a five minute clip and nothing was, was really said at all. She did post a message in Discord though to further talk about her side. And yeah, apparently Jagex has now fired the mod and banned her instead. As she said, Trident was fired and I was banned for no reason. But they can do that, right? Because I don't have a YouTube channel to go on a smear campaign. But having someone get 40 mil XP for you is apparently considered okay. Their terms state that it's considered a bot account. Therefore, it should be banned. No, I don't care about Oda. I'm now referring to logistics of it. I get banned for no reason. But a serial rule breaker that bashes the company and taunts the Jmods as and brags about not grinding his own account gets unbanned but stella a stella who hasn't broken any rules gets banned okay you keep on saying you haven't broken any rules uh as far as i know during her stream she didn't actually go over any of the accusations or evidence against her so um you did break rules that that's like pretty much for sure here i'm not expecting an unban spineless company refusing to even make a statement defending their own employee and me i know i didn't break any rules you're too scared to make a statement as you know it will only bring you negative pr how could you defend stella and trident knowing they did nothing wrong right god forbid your precious streamer makes another video which lies you could have debunked you initially waited two months for this to die out before banning me and firing him I turned down interviews in hopes of saving Trident's job and helping the company save face. I banned reporters in hopes of just waiting for this to die out. It's been two months and not a single statement has been made in terms of the investigation. I'll just share it. He was found innocent. You want to know the real reason? Someone decided to lie and save their own arse at the company. And there's a lot to dissect there because you don't know what any of it really means. She keeps on claiming that she has not broken any rules and that she was banned for no reason. She also says that he was found innocent, but then someone at Jagex decided to lie and cover their own arse. And then goes on and on about this statement, you know, taking two months. Of course, this was done months ago, right? They waited two months to then ban her. I mean, that's how an investigation works. An investigation is not done overnight. So maybe it took two months to finally conduct the, the investigation in its entirety the situation is a bit I, I would say confusing because jagex has not made the statement at the point of me recording so i will give her that but to come out and claim when you've done nothing wrong when there have been hour-long videos of things you have done wrong and she says she could debunk those things so we'll see there is a moment of the stream i did capture it wasn't really much to it. It wasn't the beef of the stream. Again, the VOD was taken down. If anyone has the full VOD, feel free to send it. But here is what she said there. No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. The only way it's gonna do anything is if it gets on YouTube and YouTubers are talking about it. If I talk about it on stream, no one's gonna care. No one, if, if I show everybody how the JMods or, or whoever is allowing rule breakers because they're associated with Odablock, no one's gonna care because all these Odablock minions, they're, they're not, the only people that will care is if I go to Reddit. Cause not everybody on Reddit likes, you know, like, they're not gonna care right now. Everybody in here like is a huge fan of Oda, right? They think it's funny that he got fired. They're not gonna care. It's just a video of people within there that are close to Odablog just buying an account for 2k. It's them basically selling gold. It's them basically selling gold and buying accounts for lots of money and they're not getting banned. And their whole like Ponzi is like, um, it's not being taken down. Oh yeah, set the rug down. Greg! Of course you're gonna come in here. You've been literally sucking off Mr. Odoblock for how long now? How long have you been literally, how long has it been? Honestly, do you respect yourself? When you go to sleep at night, Greg, do you, res do you still respect yourself? Do you think like, yeah, I'm the man? Or do you think like, man, I'm such a bitch, man. I do everything Odoblock tells me to do. Like if he tells me to sit, I sit like a good doggy. Like who's the good doggy? Who's the good doggy? Are you a good doggy? Are you a good doggy? Right? Are you a good doggy? Is he going, yeah? Anyways, 
I'm ending, but before I go, W Odablock. Odablock, we we love you, Odablock. You're the you're the fucking CEO. CEO Odablock. Mr. Odablock runs this shit. There is no one else that runs this. Like, listen, if you ever get banned, head over to Mr. Odablock. He'll take care of it for you, you know? Money talks, right? It's been shown. CEO W Odablock. I love that guy. And this definitely is interesting. Without a statement from Jagex, I don't think that's very fair. We need to know exactly, you know, what was found or how they came to the reasoning. Because um, uh, remember, two months ago, Odoblock had both of his accounts permanently banned. And if a single mod can do that without showing evidence or having, you know, backup, that's a that's a, a flawed system for RuneScape and Jagex to have in place. They then turn those permanent bans into temporary after he showcases apparently evidence and some admissions on his end of what he did wrong and what he did not do wrong. So they, they switch those bans and then he alleges that one of your own mods colluded with someone that he had a relationship with who is also a streamer to actually ban him in the first place in order to pump up her own rival DMing clan so she can make loads of gold. And along the way, she was exposed for scamming and real world trading and a lot of allegations that she says that she could have debunked huh this is a situation isn't it fam but that's where we're gonna leave it okay one of the craziest stories the firing of mod trident and a jagex employee over a relationship he had with a streamer trying to get in another streamer there's nothing quite like runescape till next time take care we'll see you back here sometime soon what do you think